This is why it is so important to know what your opponent is sideboarding. A little history lesson. Back in Invasion Standard, there were two decks that were very good. A Jeskai control deck, which was also called Captain America, and the Gruul Agro deck. And the Gruul Agro deck kept boarding Price of Glory, which makes sense because your opponent as a control deck needs a lot of mana in your turn to counterspell, draw cards, and interact. Well, the Jeskai control deck then kept one upping the opponent's strategy by sideboarding Sacred Ground. And Sacred Ground says whenever land gets destroyed by your opponent's effect, you get it back. So what was happening is you wait until your opponent played Price of Glory and then you played Sacred Ground, passing to your opponent's upkeep, tapping the land for mana and saying, like, oh no, it gets destroyed by Price of Glory, but it gets back because of Sacred Ground, so I'm gonna make another mana. Oh no, it's gonna get destroyed again from your Price of Glory. But luckily it gets back from my Sacred Ground and you see it, that led to infinite mana because of your opponent's sideboard a card. And obviously when you have infinite mana, a control deck isn't that far out of winning the game.